In this video, I'll add some life into my particles in their cloud, making my water molecules move around a bit, animate them. First, I'll select the emitter, the P Cloud 1, and click on the modifier panel. I'll scroll all the way up to the top and change the size of this emitter. I'm going to crank up the length, width, and height so I have more volume for my gas to exist in. Now that the gas has more room, I can get more particles in there. I'll scroll down to the particle generation rollout. Under here is a rate, and I'm going to bring up the rate of generation to 35, so I get more particles. I also have a speed under particle motion, and I'll put this speed at 0.3, with a variation of 45%. With particles, anytime you have a chance to randomize them within a range, you should, because it makes them look more organic. Now when I hit play, we can see my particles move slightly and appear to jitter a little bit. They're also going in a random direction, which is good. I'll scroll down and look at their motion and rotation as well. If you'd like to vary the size, you can, but I'm going to leave mine alone so we perceive them all as water. Under rotation and collision, there's a spin axis and a spin speed. Right now I'm going to ignore spin speed and set the spin axis control to the direction of travel and motion blur. Now when I play this, they are rotated and move slightly and rotate in the direction of their travel. And I've got some animated water. If you'd like to go further, you can introduce in wind forces, for example, to blow your particles over in a direction, or have them get pulled into a vortex. You can also explore particle flow, where we can have event-based particles and collisions between particles and spawning upon collision if you'd like. But that's a little ahead. Right now I'm happy simply demonstrating a gas composed of my water molecules, as we can see here, and having them move around and behave like a gas.